<laughs> it's probably asking too much, uh, considering. But like, if this tournament, if this wipeout just ran like an hour earlier. Um, if the other one ran, if this, what the fuck? What is, is he really going to limp aces here? Do we just fold and save ourselves 7,000? Is there any chance he doesn't have aces here? It's a good flop. That is a really good flop. Ace King. Good lord. Give us the old limp jam over a raise and a re raise for 30 big blinds. That was a hell of a hand. See, this is what I think. Like, this is why I do stupid things like jam that river on that other hand with Ace King because people just. Play so insane. Like, why would you limp jam that after a raise and re raise? Why would you just limp that in the first place, right? But no matter what, like, he and I, he's only had 30 big blinds. We were getting it in. What is the 10s guy thinking? <laughs> so, I mean, I hate to sound like an asshole, right? I don't want to be like, I know everything about poker. Clearly, I do not. But when you see people do stuff like this, and it just stumps me, and I'm sitting here seemingly critiquing them in the stream, I don't mean to be rude about it, but it's just like I just don't understand it, and it frustrates me because then I play against these people all the time, and I can't like figure out how to how to beat them because I don't understand what they're doing. <laughs> it's not it's not as much like critiquing their play as it is. I, I don't understand it enough, like, and I want to, I want to understand it so I can consistently beat them, which that just happened to work out really well for me right there, but hopefully that made sense. <laughs> Long story short, though, it's hard for me to tell a lot of times whether or not people are playing really bad or I'm just an idiot, like... <laughs> Am I just, am I just like behind and that was some fancy new play I've never heard of people trying to pull off Is that like a meta game there that I'm not aware of or is it just like a really bad play or is it just like, Hey, just get it in. We're going to get it in. Like sometimes I oversimplify the thought process and other, probably most times I overcomplicate it and outthink myself. Or think myself into a stupid decision. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. What do you think about intercups getting chops at final tables? Um, sorry, I'm going behind now after all that, but uh, that's a tough one. I'm not against it. I honestly, I would be for offering it, if that makes sense. Like, I would definitely be for, be for all about offering it, but I would probably never actually chop with people just because if it was like, maybe if it was like the Sunday Sundowner and we're like three hands or something like that, uh, like, yeah, maybe we could talk talk a, a chop deck, but personally, I would play off most of these, you know, I know there's situations, obviously, when it's the structure is so fast, like, it just makes way more sense just to chop it up and be done with it, so, yeah, yeah, maybe I guess I would, see, I don't know what I'm talking about, uh, I guess I can see places, but I would definitely consider, I, I've talked to them before about offering it, I, I think it'd be a good idea, because honestly, for them, it's a win-win. 
Because if you get people all in the door in the first hour of all these rebuy tournaments, right, and they just blast off and you make the guarantee, and then the structure is so fast, it just bang, 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 next thing you know, you're at a final table, and the whole final table wants to just chop it up and make, you know, uh, whatever the profit is equally for all of them, just be like, yeah, screw it, we all just make double our money or, or 2.5 or buy-in, whatever it may be, we all just get, like, and they close the table and it's on to the next one. Like... It takes it takes load off the server or whatever, right? Like you're just one one more tournament not running that they can just boop onto the next one, and those people all that are at that final table can move on to the next tournament and rebuy the shit out of that because now they get an extra two or three buy-ins or five ten buy-ins, whatever the tournament may be, that they just chopped. And so I'm I'm for it, but I think it gets complicated. It, it, like you'd have to like oversimplify it to make. It work on here because the software is old and that probably is the biggest concern is that this is obviously older software and that might require a massive update and i don't see them doing that anytime soon like we've been begging before some kind of like people not we like people have been begging for them to update the software from the old cake one for a long time uh just to keep up with the silliness that is like ACRs, which I don't really care about that stuff. So another reason why I play here is like I like the simplicity of it. Uh, but I can see like other people like it draws them in. Like is this this the, the graphics and, the, and all that stuff from from like ACR, but like those full tilts like those are that was clutch. Those are so good, so cool looking. Is it necessary to play now? So for me, I would I don't really care if they update it. I think it would probably do them good because it would bring in a different player base. That would be the only time I think they would actually be able to install some kind of final table chop situation, unfortunately. I may be wrong. I may be weakly wrong. Maybe they, they can do it in two seconds. <laughs> I don't know. But I would be, I would be, I think I would be for it. I wish, I wish they would do it. Fish going fish. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, it was definitely an odd line. I don't I mean, people do that where they just like limp jam. Like I said, man, I'm out of the loop, so I need to get my study game up quite a bit to keep up with uh, some of the newer play, but I often found a lot of times playing the smaller stakes, it was uh, usually more 